and even <laughs> even as a girl, they're damn emotional, man. I don't know what's going in the water here. Seriously, what's going on? No, but people are upset. People are good... upset. Because nothing's, nothing's working. No, yeah, nothing's working. <laughs> <laughs> so like, what? The only thing that's working is my girl at home. I just want to cut some food. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is she even working though? Because she's sleeping with three men to get the bag. They didn't even respect. It's expensive to have a girlfriend here. I said, hey, I'm telling you, even me, the little one. Got that out, got that out. Keep that, keep, keep that. that keep- You people have come with podcast again. <laughs> Is that why can't you not go anywhere without making a podcast? <laughs> How can you move to Nigeria and go and start podcast? <laughs> well, that's what we've done, anyways, guys. Welcome to the I Move Back podcast, episode one. And I Move Back was a blog that launched in February this year, and it covers many topics, literally about moving back, investing in Africa, covers the places to go, nightclubs, restaurants, and uh, we have a pod. Yeah, yeah, for real, you know. They called me, she was like, Listen, we need to do a pod for this. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do a tell them all the crazy stories. Yeah, we've got a lot of crazy stories, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, I moved back in November 2020, was uh, when I came. I came for two weeks and I've been here two years. I don't know about you. Well, you found a man already? And, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Say no to Nigerian men. <laughs> <laughs> Say no to Ibo men as well, but anyway. <laughs> yeah so that was that was that's what happened to me like it was locked down um i was like the uk was just going on and off on and off i was like i'm not staying there it's depressing so i came here and i ended up cancelling my ticket literally yeah yeah yeah. by january i cancelled my ticket and then i was here for nine months um took a two-month break in the uk and now i live in lagos so wait you know you know what got in your mind you know people you must be mad (laughs) i'm serious you must be mad to be in London, just chilling. Your nice apartment, wherever it is. Yeah. Your car outside. Yeah, your, your I miss good my job, baby. All this kind of, and you just say you want to come to Nigeria. Fam, the life is sweet here. Yeah, the life is sweet here. To me, the quality of life is better here if you have money. But yeah, it's. So what about people that don't have money? It's, it's, it's tough. <laughs> Poverty. That's Nigeria. your problem. Poverty in Nigeria is hard. <laughs> Oh yeah, poverty in Nigeria is hard. Every yeah. man for you, themselves. Yeah, you do not want to be poor in Nigeria. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. It's definitely not easy. Like I've been learning that now. Cause when I first came, I was working London job, you're earning pounds. <laughs> Life is sweet. I was going levanting up and down every day, massage, jet ski. You're getting massage every day. If I'm, honestly, I was did known you go, for did spas. You go, did you go to spas? Yeah, I, was I say love that. <laughs> spas literally hey. massages. I was doing that. Well, I, do you know what's so bad? Yeah, you know that the spa is it uh, uh, God, I don't know if Thai was a name. I think I know T T R or something like that. Yeah, something like yeah. that. There's literally like uh, Indonesian or yeah, Indonesian women. Indonesian yeah. women. They'll give you like <laughs> there's Fam? one time I booked a, a couple of massage with I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> <laughs> I got they put me on the bed and they put their tiny feet and they were stepping on my back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought, imagine her feet on my back. What that's gonna look like? <laughs> <laughs> no, they do they're, they're massage they're pulling everywhere. Pulling your back and stuff. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're sick. They're I've sick. had some questionable massages in Lagos. Actually, yeah. <laughs> that's actually true. They, 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 they don't hold back. Yeah. All right, do you ever got a pedicure in Lagos that, that a woman is chopping into your feet? Chopping into your feet. <laughs> you You've mean? never got a pedicure in Lagos where they're chopping into your feet. Boy, I had a massage once. I said this woman's angry at her husband. <laughs> she was beating my back like the world was ending the next day. That was in Abuja. I said never again, no. never again. Yeah, some of the, yeah, some of the experiences have been a bit mad. Yeah. But regardless, life is so sweet here. You are literally out. You know, in London. Yeah, you go to your job. You got a one hour, thirty minute journey home, and then you've got like one or two hours to do things, and you have to sleep and repeat. Mm. Here, you can be working out with friends. Literally Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. So, I to me. It's not easy, but it's a lot more lit than London. Yeah, yeah. There's a good life balance if you've got like a decent job or if you're doing something serious. Yeah. There's a good life balance. You can always like, go to the beach and do shit. Yeah. So how did but you? You know what? Yeah. Not a lot of Nigerians like the beach. Why? I don't know. Why. Some people are like, you know, I don't want to put, get my, sand, my my feet dirty. I don't want to be by the no, beach. No, 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 no. When you come from the UK where you're just <laughs> seeing brown, wanna... brown River Thames water, <laughs> you will go to that beach breakfast. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I even moved close to the beach because I couldn't stand. I'm telling like, you. I, I, you know, my head, when I was in Nigeria, I was thinking beachside, living, yeah. chilling, food, no no traffic. No. Listen, when I first moved to my first place, it was so close to the road that everyone had a generator. Oh. I couldn't sleep. But now, literally, I hear the breeze of the beach. Yeah. Like, I was like, yeah, this is what I was It's spiritual, fam. I'll take my laptop to the beach and go and chill there and everything. <laughs> and like, you, yeah. You, you get a laptop taken. <laughs> You're going to take your laptop. <laughs> I've not personally been robbed in Lagos, really? but I know a couple of men that have been, boy. All right, talk story. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know one guy, yeah, fam, his peak. So just go to Festac. You went to Festac? Yeah, I went to Festac. You and him? No, I wasn't there. Oh. I wasn't there. <laughs> I wasn't there. All I know is they took his car, his laptop, everything. Fam. No way. Yeah, I so said he left the country. <laughs> he moved back. <laughs> he moved back the other way. It's actually not funny, bro. Well, he moved back the other way. So yeah, no, it's not like, I know people that have had a bit of dark experiences. I think I've, yeah. been, quite, I've been quite blessed in that department. We thank God. But yeah, what was your move back story? Oh, no, you know what? I was, I was uh, just chilling in my apartment, really. Uh, I, I live in Dartford. Well, I used to live in but I moved to Dartford myself and then I was just ordering literally delivery all the time <laughs> I'm telling you like today will be what what's the you know the new one came out in um, Blue Water Wingstop oh Wingstop yeah, yeah, yeah Wingstop yeah, yeah. you know that and Rick Cross just started just got yeah. it them time so like I, everyone there's a, there's a lemon pepper oh, oh my god there's a lemon pepper Wingstop chicken wings mm. yeah. <laughs> hey I used to just order that shit like uh, they'll be they'll be delivery man I'll come now I'll come later mm-hmm. oh, but you know what the god. maddest thing yeah, is like what made me really move I said I can't do this anymore is like I kept on getting letters through the post for what? for just shit like oh my god I can't breathe fine you gotta run out the country <laughs> <laughs> They ran you out, no, boy. I look, I, I, it was like, I, I kept on paying it, but it just kept on coming because like, I used to just live life yeah, on the go. I'm same, not thinking. I never, I, I never wanted to look at speed cameras. So, oh, I never same. wanted to look at. I never wanted yeah, to look at parking uh, times. Yes. I just said, you know what? Where was it? Thirty pound, forty pound. Same. I was still thinking it's thirty pound. Yeah, yeah. And then I realized they put the parking tickets up to seventy pounds. They slap it and it, it inflation every oh, every hey, fourteen when, days. When I used to up. get the thing back into my house, I'm like, yo. Yeah. This is mad. I said, nah. Yeah. A couple of other things as well. I just say, you know what? I need, I need to change the scenery. Yeah, I, I, I said that if uh, Boris Johnson ever becomes PM, that I'm leaving the country. <laughs> so I was overdue to leave a long time ago. Is that how much you hate yeah, I couldn't, as in, fam. <laughs> that if that's who's representing us in the UK, I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I was due to leave and it just kind of like fell on my lap. But then like, how have you found it? Like, especially because... I always thought that Nigeria was home as mm. well. So in the UK, you know it's not your home, yeah? But then coming back home, I've realised sometimes they also let us know that it's not our home. I think because maybe we sound different sometimes. Yeah. Is that or... I don't know. Like, how have you found that? Yeah, it's, it's the whole accent thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's like an accent thing. Like, obviously you've got different accents than... than people here mm-hmm. you know you know the funniest thing here is there a nigerian accent because I, f- I don't think there's a nigerian accent there's a nigerian accent no, no, no because there's people with so many there different was, type of accents in nigeria exactly that this guy's nigerian really yeah. <laughs> now nah, because you know sometimes yeah you know when you're watching that hollywood, hollywood films and you're just hearing one made up american accent oh my gosh <laughs> we, we know people and like I'm just that. <laughs> nah is this actually a nigerian accent or what like Nah, yeah. there's, some, there's some people that make make up accent. You know what? It's actually normal. I think it's actually Nigerians should know this as well. Like, it's normal to have different accents. I've got like different accents. I've got like I've got UK corporate. I've got UK slang. I've got Nigeria. True. True. I've yeah. got like Nigeria, Nigeria. I, yeah. I've got um, I've got pidgin English accent as well. Yeah. I've even got like a type of pidgin, like a worry type of pidgin, like where we're nah, from. You go in, man. You know what I'm saying? That type of accent. Yeah. And then I could talk on a corporate level as well in UK where it's just like you would never think I'm road or I'm from yeah ends. I, I I hear that but for me do you think that the accent benefits you as a hindrance sometimes ah oh, Nigeria definitely definitely the hindrance you need to you need to put people be in front of you you should not listen if you don't need to speak don't speak yes you know what I'm saying because yeah. the more you talk the more you put yourself in the shit. more you talk the higher the price number one <laughs> that I'm tired of that I'm tired of people charging me times three the price because they hear an accent or they see plus four four number on whatsapp nah. that is really draining I also feel like it depends on the level of the person you're speaking to but mm. there was a time yeah I mean I was driving my friend's car and I got stopped by last month apparently I run a red light you got stopped by last one. Well, I, I said, apparently I run a red light, but I don't know. So then, 
Apparently. The guy was like to me, oh, um, you know, driving license. Mm. And my friend was like, look, she, my, my, my leg is bad. So she's driving, she's driving for me. Yeah. Then as I was talking, the guy was like, you keep quiet. I don't respect you. Look at the way that you talk. <gasps> now your husband, I respect. I said, husband? I don't even piss me <laughs> off even more. I was like, husband, this is my friend, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and he said that to me and another time this was a couple of weeks ago I was at the pharmacy and it charged me twice it charged me it took the money out of my account and it said declined at the ATM yeah. but they charged you but it took the money out of my account they so, do this all the time so maybe I was doing London Girl yeah but I wasn't trying to have it that day because I bought a lot of stuff and they wanted me to to, to rebuy the thing again no way and I'm like it was a tiny I'm not buying rebuy anything <laughs> I'm not buying anything again like it's come out of my account so it caused a big fuss. And then the girl was like, oh, this is Nigeria. This is Nigeria. And I'm like, girl, I've been here almost two years. Don't let the accent fool you. Well, you have, I, I, in, I'm a real Nigerian now. You go I'm a to Lagos to man through and through. Like, don't let the accent fool you. So like, I mean, there's so many instances where I just felt like it's, I don't know. It's um maybe it triggers something sometimes yeah. in people, which is really sad. But yeah, it has been a hindrance, I think, more than a benefit. Do you, do you can you easily understand Nigerian accent? Yeah, but they can't understand me. Okay. So I've I've had also times on the phone with like, oh, yo, this is what you boy you're speaking. Yeah, I don't get man. I, I can't I can't hear you, man. Like, I'm like, oh god. <laughs> Always trouble. Yeah. And then I've got struggle you're about to. They don't want to hear me. Like, yeah, I was saying onions earlier. This one was telling me I said onions. <laughs> That's enough. I didn't know what onion, onions mean. What is it? Yeah, I was saying onions and then this guy was like onions. I was like, it's okay then. I'm not gonna speak your back again. <laughs> So yeah, the accent is, is, is a bit of a struggle still, but um, I don't know. I think I'm trying to adjust that like, when you speak to certain people, you have to put on that Nigerian accent. Yeah, yeah. A bit. You, you know the funny thing, like it's it's the corporate on the corporate side of things. Yeah, like they they feel like you're intelligent, but I don't think that's true because yeah. not everybody with an accent, not everyone with English accent, intelligent. Some people actually got kicked out of London. <laughs> <laughs> Like you. <laughs> no, not me. Like I, got, you. I, got, I got my PhD first. Me. Don't try. And then you just... <laughs> no, but I. Do you know what? Yeah, I mean, we don't. Maybe we'll talk about this another day. But I always wonder. A lot of people that move back. Do you think that they're running away from something? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> You're all crazy. Me. No, if you speak to average Nigerian, yeah, saying, "Listen, you, you black." Are you mad? Yeah. You're in London. Why are you moving back yeah. to Nigeria? So I started looking at all our London people suspect like. <laughs> <laughs> you got to the mentality of thinking this, this guy is not normal for yeah. him not to survive literally, in the UK. Literally. It's not about to think, mm, what are you want to do with me? But yeah. Yeah, man. Like uh, that, that thing, I think it's sad. So the thing is like, they think the more English you are, mm. the more high class you are. And I can't stand that mentality. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. It's not good, yeah. But yeah. then again, sometimes it works in your favour. Sometimes it doesn't really work in your favour because yeah. they'll still try and get through off you. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, amongst like the higher class, I guess it can work in your favour. Yeah. But it's it's a backwards mentality. You know, you know the funniest thing. Yeah, like I want to hear what Pelimi talked about earlier yeah. when that is access story because yes. that, that story in my head. Nah, I'm it's crazy still. So we went to the beach and then we went to buy a bottle. There was like three, four of us. It was a wedding, so like there was a few men then from ends. So we went to buy. Um, First of all, I thought Yoruba was a universal language in Nigeria. <laughs> like, I thought I could just go and... Because I can speak Yoruba fluently. Mm-hmm. So I thought I could just go speak Yoruba. They'll understand me. Come. Then, so I've gone to order the bottle. There was two of us. And I spoke Yoruba. And the guy spoke pigeon back. So, he thinks everyone, everyone did here. Now you're about blah, blah, blah. So I thought... I ah. need to, <laughs> now I just speak English to order what I need to order. So I've asked him for a bottle. I think it was... I can't remember exactly what it was. It was I think it was rock. And then... He must have said something to the other guy, like, go bring the other menu. Uh-uh. Like, no. Nah. So they've now gone to the back. Oh. I swear, no word of a lie, it took them like 20 minutes. It's like they printed the menu again. No, 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 no. They nah. laminated it. I, and they, I swear to you, like, it was, you know when you laminate something, it's still warm. Like, <laughs> they've come and given us the thing. <laughs> and I'm thinking, wait, like, we went clubbing like a few days ago. <laughs> this rock is like twice or what we paid on the, in the club. So I thought, no, 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 I'm not having it, I'm not having it. <laughs> arguing, arguing, arguing now. Then the manager comes and they've now clocked that they're fucked up because the manager didn't know that what they were doing. Mm. So I think 
they doubled the price by I think, let's say we went to be 60k they came with a 120k bill they're mad for a Ciroc bottle on the beach I thought on the nah, beach I need to, nah, I, man, I, I need to learn a... pigeon I need to learn pigeon I need to learn pigeon yeah too. I need to learn pigeon I'm not fluent in pigeon man, yet. man charge you Mayfair prizes on trust the beach. me I like Gucci beach not even landmark <laughs> <laughs> No. That's a, that's so mad. That's mad. That's man. what I'm. That's what I'm actually saying. Like literally, yeah, the... there's so many accents. You got you. What I do to stay safe, just get used to a guy that's gonna move around with you, like your driver, whoever it is, and then you talk to him and he talks to everybody mm, just else. Speak on your behalf, right? Yeah, because have you ever been around people and they hear your accent and they try to mirror your accent? Like they try to speak like you. Nah, no. You have, like so, Nigerian. So what happened to me though? There was I was at my friend's birthday and there was a guy and he just kept mocking me the whole night. Oh, you're from London, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they Yo, do, that. Yeah. they yeah. do that. This, yeah. And I'm like, I will box to my right hook. I've been working on it. I will actually box you because this is too much. He did it for the whole evening. So that yeah. was really annoying. And Some people find London accent annoying, actually. Yeah, because they don't understand it. Yeah, and it's, and it's fast to them. It's very fast. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you think about how Nigerians speak in general, like our, our normal Nigerian accent is more like, it's very slow. It's like, hey, guy, how far? What are you doing? Like, so it's more slow. But London, we talk. So, they're just slow in general over <laughs> here. Slow, <laughs> lazy. <laughs> the sun is just <laughs> slow, motherfuckers. I'm tired. <laughs> anyways, continue. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but everyone's chill. Everyone's like, you know what I mean? Tomorrow we'll still be here. So let's just enjoy today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but that, nah, it's, um, yeah, it's, the access thing is bad. It's actually bad. I, I, I would say, I would say, yeah. Like, I love the way I, the way I can switch my accent as well. And I love that switch I, I actually learned, okay, like, what's in the Apple? We just did a big podcast. I said, the big podcast like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I, like, I was speaking Pigeon. I, I, can't, I can't speak English without English accent. Mm. Then like, I can speak Pigeon with Nigerian accent. Because, mm-hmm. like, it feels like a different language to me. Yeah. So, yeah, it's interesting. If you know how to switch, like, like my driver, I speak to him in Pigeon. When did you learn Pigeon? Uh, when I was in school, because I did, I did like a primary school here. You yeah. learned pigeon in primary school? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what are they teaching you? That's what <laughs> no, not in school. Out of school. What are you doing? Like, we learned pigeon in school. <laughs> No, I was gonna say I went to the wrong party. No, I was to the <laughs> Imagine, imagine your teacher teaching you pigeon. That you're in the trenches. <laughs> no, but to be fair, you know, um, I used to go to Taco Bay a lot, yeah. you know, and I found a group of kids that I really loved, and it broke my heart because one of them was like, "Auntie, why are you speaking like that?" Oh wow! And because they can only speak in pigeon, yeah, they yeah. couldn't speak like English. That's mad. And that was literally like last year. So, so. She's looking at you as that. That is weird. Yeah, she's looking at me like I'm speaking a foreign language. That's interesting. And yeah, they can only speak, and a lot of them again, they come from. Some of them are like Togo. Some of them are from like Ghana. Like you know, so they're from different African oh, yeah, countries. Oh yeah, a lot so, on the beach, right? They do that. They yeah. do migrate a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh wow, she does that. Now. I was like, me, I can't speak pigeon for anything. I think I'm at a disadvantage. Only being able yeah, to I speak think not, English. not being able to speak pigeon. That yeah, disadvantage. Yeah, you're a disadvantage because you can't speak to the majority. Yeah, I told you. I, I was a was a bit over. FM speaking pigeon. Literally, you, you I had your, to speak pigeon. You, you held your own. Yeah, then, yeah, you did. Because the woman's like, "Yeah, you can only speak pigeon on this channel." I was like, "Shit, I'll stumble." <laughs> what did that happen I'll... now? <laughs> They'll just be cringing. Like, what's this one? I beg, just come up for me. We one of the callers say, "Eh, hey, madam, we thank you for bringing the thing out of our window." <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no uh, I, I definitely, I definitely couldn't survive. But so, do you guys feel like going to primary school here has made it easier for you now being back here again? later in life yeah for me yeah because like the mannerism is still in me even if i'm like english i still i can have a nigerian mannerism mm. and because of that even if i'm not talking the people could still like okay he's not he's he's clued up he understands yeah a couple of things and you walk around looking like a billionaire anyway yeah. so oh thank god <laughs> <laughs> so you look like yeah, you know. yeah so the manager yeah you go have to mm. so that and being able to speak your as well because obviously i learned when exactly. i was here that and when i moved that. back my mom to today, I can't call my mom and have a conversation in English. That's in, so English. good. That's good. My dad used to call me and speak in, his, in, in the uh, our language, in it, our, our natural language. But 
I literally could only answer one word. That's so good. Yeah, I, I've never spoke, had a conversation with my mom in English. So like being able to come back and speak fluent Yoruba it helps you as well in yeah. certain aspects. But like I said, pigeon is the universal language of Nigeria. I had to it go, is and, a get, universal I had to go language, and get yeah. a teacher. I had yeah, to go and get do, a Yoruba teacher. Do. Yoruba. Let's get you get pigeon teacher. first before you get. You so you had to. Yeah, I was paying him during lockdown. People say that, yeah, but like, yeah. but like, you know, the the business language in Nigeria is actually pigeon. Yeah. Business at what level? At 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 the majority level, majority of people level. You maybe staff, right? No, no, people. No, I feel like every level you like you can yeah. relate to anyone in pigeon. I don't see businessmen speaking in pigeon to each no, other. No, not not to each other. Like the, the guys who are the cliques, they will speak to pigeon. They'll speak pigeon in the room. If really? you're your guy, guy, you've been you've been with for a while, grinded, and you made money with together, you're speaking pigeon in the rooms. Okay, yeah. In the do rooms, you're speaking pigeon. In the bar, you're speaking pigeon. They're like guy. Because think about everyone like from a different tribe. So Yorubas, you can't you can't all sit in one room and speak English in Nigeria. You will speak pigeon. Mm. Let's say like some. You know, I mean, yeah, like men, men go like, okay, we are run around, I'm all to go, more to go. No, to be fair, when you're saying like that, yeah, but. That doesn't. It's not like heavy pigeon. Yeah, not heavy pigeon. No, not like daily. They, they yeah. daily speak normal. But I think yeah. Sometimes it's when they want to run a joke or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, they want to just yeah. Yeah, yeah, have a banter. Yeah, yeah I mean, but if, I just if you switch. can't banter with them, then it's like you're not really in the. No, the banter in my Queen's English. I beg. <laughs> <laughs> do Do you think UK banter translates to Nigeria? Interesting question. Mm. Do you think so? What would you, so what, what would you classify as UK banter? Like, you know, I have the mandem on group chat and we banter each other every day but I don't think I can have the same banter with because they're, man, they're, they're emotional. too emotional like. <laughs> emotional yeah, yeah. No, let's say this is what I'm saying let's say my boy yeah. like my boy's girl cooks for him and yeah. he puts it on snap and we think the meat's a bit raw or something like I could put in the group chat saying are you sure yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But with my name in Nigeria, I don't even think I can say it. Nah, they were like, what you say to me, my girl? Like, they get very emotional. They get emotional. They try to sleep with your girl next to me. For real, hey, Nigerian men are collecting people's girls. They obsessed with it. Why? When they come, they can snake their boys for girls. I'm telling you, they love women here, man. So I can't. You never experienced that. You've not experienced in Nigeria, P. Exactly. Don't mind this one. You experienced it. P. I even tried to steal my girl quick. Oh, <laughs> let me know how you Let me know how you I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh my mm, god. We'll talk about nah, that. After. <laughs> Wait, is it true? Huh? Okay. Hear I'm the you're, the one, you're the one that's in the middle. Yeah, don't, don't, don't put hear me no in trouble. Evil, see no evil. Oh my gosh. Oh, you have to be careful with Nigerian guys. I always try to steal your girl. Nigerian guys, even even as a girl, they're damn emotional, man. I don't know what's going in the water here. Seriously, what's going on? No, but people are upset. People are upset. Because good... nothing's, nothing's working. No, yeah, nothing's working. <laughs> so like, what? The only thing that's working is my girl at home. I just want to cut some food. Is she even working though? Because she's sleeping with three men to get the bag. They don't even respect... It's expensive to have a girlfriend here. I said, hey, I'm telling you, you even really me, the little one... Cut that out, cut that out. Keep that, keep, keep that. that, keep that. <laughs> oh, oh shit, shit. Nah. nah. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you gotta come out the, every week, there's something going wrong. Like, yo, at least. Some, I think that's why, that's why I can't chat to Nigerian girls. Yeah. Like, I don't chat to them. I don't move. Like, I don't. No, nah, it's either we're friends or nothing else. <laughs> Am I going to be giving you allowance that your dad can't give you? Yeah. Like, oh, what's all of that about? No, nah, yeah. I can't. What's the maddest amount they've asked for you? Million. M's? Yeah. Arts. Ah. And, and you know not receive, but they ask. <laughs> and I'm thinking... I, she's brave. Yeah. Brave. And it's the accent. It's like the... They think they have this mentality that they have money. Like, yeah, they have money to waste. Yeah. And the thing is, think about it. If a Nigerian man that's hustling in Nigeria can give a girl 500k, why wouldn't a guy from London with a British accent be able to give me one million? But it's easier for them no, to make money. But, but yeah, but it's easier for them. But they don't think like that yeah, though. They exactly, just think yeah. we're making pounds. Exactly, facts. No, what you're saying is facts, yeah. yeah. I realise there's a lot more money flowing around in Lagos than in London. Yeah, that's why yeah, London yeah. men are stingy. Man, then when we go on dates in London, they're trying to go halves on their on bill at oh, the end of the day. that's what this one said. I never week. said on a date. I never <laughs> said on a date. <laughs> I said, said, it last I said week. My, my girlfriend living together. That's even worse. That's even worse. <laughs> but that was before, not now. Not now. You know me right now. Everything's 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 yeah. calm. Okay, all right then. Everything's calm. No, because honestly, like my friend was like, when you date a Nigerian girl, you become a father straight away. Yeah. Yeah. You're literally just another child. You just literally Pay got a child. Rent, Bone straight. Phone. Everything. I was buying. I, I bought. I <laughs> yeah. bought. I bought hella bags already. Bam. <laughs> 
That's <laughs> mad. Yeah, that's mad. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know about that. I think, I, th- I think it messes up the society. How do mm. you feel as a girl? Like, I think it messes up the society because I think it's unfair for girls like me. So do you think a lot of girls are flying in from Nigeria to? From London oh, to meet facts. Nigerian men to facts. get that financial benefit. In fact, when I moved back, a lot of people were like, "Did you move back to get for a husband?" Oh wow! Yeah, I got that what did you do? Fam, they go to Nigerian <laughs> men. <laughs> I like the way you asked <laughs> that question. Did you though? He knows me. But well. did you <laughs> know? They go to Nigerian men. So like, yeah, I got that. I got asked that a lot because a lot of girls move back to get that. Nigerian men are in high demand globally. Really? I think amongst black men, you're well, the highest d- demand. Just Nigeria, Nigeria, or like... No, Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria, Nigeria, really? Because they spend money. Yeah, that's they'll, true. They will ruin your life, but they will spend What's money. They ruin your life? It's the money that they'll distract but you. Does that, does that not sound so evil, like... <laughs> but it's facts, though. It's actually facts. That, nah, but like, how how would they ruin your life in what So way, this is though? why I say it ruins the society. Because everything's transactional, yeah? It means that girls that don't want transactional stuff are the losers. Mm. because you're expected to give to get whereas mm. it shouldn't have to be like that so that's why it's a, it's a problem but at the end of the day yeah they'll spend on you they'll look after you but they'll also do that for seven eight or nine so, nine what of a woman yeah it gets like that sometimes. Money's good. it gets like that sometimes yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Money's> good, <man. laughs> so so that's the problem but look at the end of the day like i say life is sweet over here no, that's, that's yeah true, that's true life is and as a girl if you have accent i won't lie they'll, they'll be flocking 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 but <laughs> yeah it's the quality not quantity that's the most important thing has, has anyone tried to be with you for Say a passport no to nigerian men <laughs> <laughs> Answer that like question, you that question was coming. <laughs> no, 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 has anyone tried to be for a passport no as in like i've not i've not I'm not openly. Yeah, but I don't think a Nigerian man openly come to you and say, yeah. "I'm gonna be with you." Yeah, to the, get thing, a the thing is with them, they I'm very open about staying here. As in, literally, mm. look at imoveback.com. Mm. So I don't think I'm the wrong one to try that game with. Oh, okay, yeah. So you're trying to be here. You're not <laughs> trying like, to go nowhere. I'm not trying to go and live in the <laughs> you know, West that's again. That's safe. I'm thinking yeah. well, like, I'm not moving anywhere. Like literally, anywhere else I'm going will probably be in Africa. It's in Africa, <laughs> so I'm the wrong one to try and run that game with. Maybe you can try that with a couple. Uh, we know a couple no, girls. The, 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 the couple, couple, we know a couple girls that will run that. Game yeah, after really? five years, yeah, they yeah, did the yeah. application and just divorced we know, them straight away. We know a couple away, of girls so. are, but that game is getting run on Somebody asked right me a very stupid question the other day. She was like, ah, do you know any girl that's willing to... I'm like, I'm that's willing. more this. What is, <laughs> that's willing I'm, to get paid for some. the bus. You got some. Yeah, you? Uh, what? <laughs> are we making a percentage out of this or what? <laughs> uh, we are Talk definitely cutting this out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you are screwed that car. That car has to go back. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god! Yeah, but a lot of our parents' generation—that's what they did. Actually, yeah, like married like white men, white women, and I mean a lot of mixed race kids. Yeah, God came from, me, came, from, came from the <laughs> request of passport. Wait, there's a lot of mixed race. A lot of mixed race children the, as a result in the, in the middle of, of passport marriage. <laughs> As a result of passport marriage, at the end of the day, yeah, we've all noticed it. Every Nigerian is trying to leave, and all of us trying to come are, back. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's those that cost me, but I would say, yeah, like. The people who are trying to come back, are they the ones <laughs> that they should be coming back? Yeah. Like, there's all, only crazy people want, they want to live in Nigeria. Okay, though. is that true? Let's address I that. I think that is true. I think only crazy, if you have to be crazy to live here, like, you have to be, you want to seek adventure, something, something different. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong have. with that, though. Hmm? There's nothing wrong with that, especially when you're coming back home. Let's say we're going to, like, another African country, you want to yeah. adventure. But do you feel at home in Nigeria? I, I do. I was born here, so I feel like I've come mm. back home. Like, my passport is green. <laughs> Before anything else, you know what I'm saying? I like that. And that's what Halo on its own. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the Nigerian passport. Can he even take you around Nigeria? No value. Blah. It causes you more, <laughs> causes you more problems than benefits. <laughs> just, oh. just even oh, using man. your Nigerian passport to travel between Lagos <laughs> and Aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> it's an issue. <laughs> <laughs> the the embassy were hollow alone, yeah, <laughs> fam. Yeah. Like, I, oh boy, I, I don't know. I don't know. I thought everyone's asked me repeatedly, oh man, it's so brave of you to move back. I'm thinking brave? What's brave? <laughs> but, but no, before a lot of people that came back were like people that went to prison. I can't so the breathe. Sentence, really? And because they didn't have a British passport, they would do the British passport again. and sent them back to Nigeria. So that's oh. the mentality some people have. Like, you only come back here if you've done something Bad, bad like, in the law or you've got deported by your parents so when we come back mm. they're thinking is that true mm. for us huh <laughs> what do you mean is that true for us <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me 
No, my one, I'm fine. I can go back to London. I may have a few pocket tickets like you. But that's the worst. That's the worst. worst <laughs> nothing, nothing that's there. the worst that I'm going back to meet there. Like, I don't know. Have you guys missed London since you've been here? You know, I, I, I have a little bit, but not like to. I miss my friends in London. Not Facts. That, yeah. Facts. Not the place. Because there's nothing to do. I wish they were here like... We'll Facts. be out every day. We'll every run, day. Yeah, run the city. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> just be also, okay, we're going to have a bar here. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I see my guys like that because London, we all have that mindset, but there's no, you can't really do it as easy as you can do it here. London's dry. Yeah. London's okay. dead. The there's food is dead. If you're not easy. with your friends, nothing like, it's literally yeah if you know your like place, in nigeria i can go out the whole day on my own and i'll be calm yeah, yeah. There's so many i can go to the to beach do. on my own i could yeah. literally go to a bar on my own yeah, yeah. in london where are you going shoreditch <laughs> no I, that shoreditch yeah and then everybody be queuing up <laughs> to get into the club in the <laughs> clothes <laughs> you know, the queuing up in the cold like i've i've never queued up <laughs> you never grew up in the cold <laughs> no i've never grew up to queue up in nigeria like the oh anywhere. never but imagine like that's a good <laughs> yeah, good point imagine like what? queuing up in the no, cold no. just to get into the club that is a very good point london will have the railings that we're queuing around the corner <laughs> to get into the 20 pounds and even <laughs> 20 pounds <laughs> <laughs> but then if you like i walked in my friend was like is this a cultist is this a cultist event because i don't understand why they were doing like passwords no i'm telling you when nigeria tries to do too bougie it just doesn't go well and it's only a matter of time and it just gets the bougie over they can't mm. keep the bridgeness as well. Yeah, they can't maintain. They can't maintain so. it. Yeah, it's like I remember this restaurant that when I first I'm not can't name the name when I first opened when I first came and they, and they opened like all the bridge people were going there. It's good. Blah, blah, blah. I literally gave it a month. They had to turn the restaurant into a nightclub no, oh. no. because people are not coming. They're not making the numbers. Uh, no, I've noticed that in Nigeria, it's hype. So every new restaurant in VI, everyone mm. goes. It's overpriced. The food is dead, and then everyone bounces to the next one and to the next one. The the quality of establishments is increasing definitely, mm. but the standard of what's being provided at the mm. price to me, a lot of it's not value for money on the island, oh, yeah. restaurant wise. What's the what's the best restaurant? Sorry, what's the best restaurant you've been to? Okay, I'm not going to say the best restaurant. I'm not plugging anybody just yet. <coughs> but I will uh, say... Describe the scenery. My favourite food is Isiowu. Oh, Isiowu, really? And, and Farm City do a nice one. You eat yeah. at Farm City? Deliver it. Wait, what, what do you, you mean? What do you mean? City, yeah. What's wrong with Farm City? I... <laughs> He said it. I was like about to, I was, don't worry, I was gonna get on to next. I was gonna get on to because the way he asked that question, are you above Farm City, Doctor? What? Are you above Farm City? I've never been to Farm City. Why have you well, been actually, to Farm City? I've never eaten at Farm City. Well, but why I, haven't I, you been to Farm City? Because what, what the first time I walked City? in there, I walked right out. <laughs> I walked right out. I was like, oh my god, there's no way I'm gonna be like okay, my body time? was like itching me for walking in. <laughs> You're busted. <laughs> what, time, what time was it what time of the day was it it was it was in the evening late yeah, evening around, right. around 10 11 no no you can't go there at that time literally it's like oh some guys that's came base. from yeah that's their, yeah. That's their base, their base yeah, yeah, yeah. some yeah. guys some foreign guys came around and then they were trying to meet us mm -hmm. as well so we i went there with my friend mm -hmm. like, for a night out yeah so as soon as i got in i was, I was like who recommended this place to you <laughs> Let's get out of your eggs. I just took them out of the place, went to the B bus straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, like, it's questionable, aren't it's, I? Yeah, it's it's like it's like young girls and just old men. Yeah, but I ordered the issue because the issue is like really nice. And then, what other places have have you liked? For food? I like street food, you know. Really, I don't street mind food. eat street food anywhere. Yeah, His brave, stomach man. is hard. Yeah, he's, he's got. A they, hard I think they make the best food, and it's cheaper. So yeah, you're you brave. Win at the end of the day, <laughs> you're brave. Mm. You don't eat street food? No. Nah. Ever? The only thing I eat is suya from Numba. It's has got Numba in Lucky Face 1. And you know, you know when... You know when that's not street. Yeah. That that, name is not street. I'm telling you. <laughs> you know that like, Numba. <laughs> you know those uh, food, truck, food truck things that look like a uh, shortage kind of vibe with all the yeah, chalk yeah, yeah, written yeah, yeah. on the Oh, yeah, yeah the, the, van, the, the van. Yeah, yeah, the food van. So yeah. they got a little, little container there and they've converted it to a nice little suya joint. I don't really go there for the suya, but like, the reason why, because they use gloves to cut the CRB. I've never seen oh anywhere else my that they days. use gloves. No, but I told you, I said, you've got to be very careful. Because one time in Lucky Phase 1, I was coming downstairs from the nail shop and I saw them cutting cabbage on the floor for, Oof, for a shawarma spot on the floor. That's mad. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger? What doesn't kill you? This guy said, what doesn't kill you? I said, careful what you eat. <laughs> You're definitely going first. Fam. <laughs> 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 oh my god so basically we get stent stories in 
And we've got a good story here that someone has sent in. Um, so I'm going to read it out. <laughs> and then we'll talk about it after. <laughs> so moving back to Nigeria wasn't easy. I had to adapt to the beginning culture in Nigeria. When I first moved back, I didn't have a bank account. So my uncle offered me to use his. I didn't know he got a notification when I credited and debited the account. After a week or two, I got my own account and stopped using his. I guess he stopped getting notifications, so he figured that I stopped using his card and asked me to return it. On my way to his house, he messaged me saying he wasn't going to be at home, so I should drop his card with his house help and also requested me to drop him some money as well. Hmm. He wasn't specific about the amount. I dropped the card and gave his house help 20k to give to my uncle. A few hours later, I got a message saying, are you not ashamed of yourself? Hey. You could only give <laughs> me 20k. K, Since then, this I haven't spoken or seen my uncle. <laughs> when you come from London or European country, <laughs> <laughs> they believe you're richer, better off. They don't understand we work as hard for our money. <laughs> and oh, ironically, the person is <laughs> is <laughs> none other than Pierre. Um, no, it was your story. It's your story. Oh, yeah. it's like, that please. pissed me off. <laughs> no, no, no. We need to know. First of all, yeah, this was this you was time ago. Talk to your uncle right now. No, was this was like six again? years ago. So oh. this was the first time when I first started coming. I was a student, so obviously six. I didn't have a card. <laughs> so he's now given me his card. I didn't know that you get notification alerts when I put. I think I put some because I was manage, I'm doing some music management, so mm. we're shooting a video. So obviously I'm sending 100K, 200K here. So he's now clocked that I've stopped using this card. So he asked for it back and then he said I should give, drop him some money. Me, I thought 20K was... That's a big, healthy amount. Uh, yeah, that's bro. Like, what's 20K like? Yeah. like four, six years ago, yeah, that was pounds. a lot. That's like 20 years, Six pounds. years ago, yeah, it's like, like, like 40 that's pounds. Yeah, like, yeah. And back then I was working in the <laughs> that's, warehouse. That's so like, lot, nah. for me to be, I was working in the nice cold shift. warehouse. That, you know about that. <laughs> Nice <laughs> they 25 hours me. Me. You guys for me to me. give you that at, from my heart I thought yeah you appreciate it guy <laughs> message you said am I not ashamed of myself I said nah <laughs> I'm proud of myself I'm like, proud of myself <laughs> 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 I must be I must see if I lost for this money would help me to give it to you <laughs> nah I said I sleep at my loss as well a grown man yeah a grown man a big man I thought it was calm but guess he wasn't you used to speak to him today no way but I, can't, I don't have family and because of that I've, I've stopped talking to hey, family okay no no that's, that's, that, that leads me to another question mm -hmm. though do you know the right amount of people amount of money to give to someone that helped you without knowing like how much no I them? don't you know that is don't. always it's messing hard. me up it's hard when because I... sometimes you look at someone and you go okay the, what, whatever you did for me just now is like 5k or that day um, in that month maybe let's say you had like one end but like you, you, you budgeted all that money for something else and only like 50k for yeah. running around and you, and you gave somebody like 5k out of that 50k to you out of that money of, of your lubricant money it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot yeah, it's a lot that's 10% them, yeah, so like too, they get emotional like why are you giving me 5k no. like 5k to me on that money is a lot no but they, they're getting emotional because they've priced you whereas you take a percentage of what they earn in a month a lot of these men are earning over 30k 40k so that 5k is a big boost on what they earn it's just that yeah, they but why would you get it's, if I'm if I'm any 30k a month if someone gave me 5k I, I would be so happy you I wouldn't cost happy. the person you should be happy but, then but they're thinking about your pocket yeah, not they're exactly. they're they're their pocket. Yeah. they priced you that's why and that's an insult on its own and it's, we have to avoid giving to people that don't appreciate that don't appreciate us like that there's no there's no there's no point because i'd be angry how can you say are you not ashamed do you of give yourself? to beggars on the road kids yeah I'm a sucker kids. for kids man i don't santa claus yeah I, it's, trust me he's always bullying everyone bullies <laughs> you me you start on the mainland by the time you get to phase two you've <laughs> given away like 5k to little kids no that's why i stopped carrying cash around now i just say no cash no cash cash no day that's what i just start saying now do you I, feel like yeah you spend more money without seeing it in cash no, I spend more money if I have cash. Really? No, I think I spend more money when I don't see it. Yeah, where you just yeah. see it. Really? Like, in London, swiping. I do. London like that, contactless. Oh, swiping all day. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you're seeing that if you're, phase. Listen, I held, I, I held 50k cash on me, yeah, like one time. And I literally, like, thought I was very rich. <laughs> you're carrying 50k around? <laughs> no, 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 not, not around. I just held it once. I mean, I went to withdraw for something, really. And I, held, and I thought I was like, you know what I'm saying? And then you, and then you, it is a lot of money, relatively. But like you're thinking, 
if if it was UK, he had a bundle like that. You'd be on a rap video. It's true. <laughs> what, 50k? Not 50k, like the amount a bundle of, bundle of notes money you decide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely be spraying one bad bee in a video. 100%. <laughs> so the, it 100%. tricks you. It does trick you when you think you got a lot of money. You, you ration it more. Like, okay, you block it. Instead of, and when you print that money giving out, let's say you're giving out that like 1k. Normally, That's my problem. You always print out. When you print out 1k, you print out 1k. I but give if you out had, 1k. If you had changed at home, just like a couple of 200s, 500s. You just take that one out and move. So like, you be chucking the two hundred and five hundred. I'll be chucking one k <laughs> every time. That is my problem. When I came, even back then, back in like three, four years ago, I was dashing out one k. There was one time, yeah, they all they almost jumped me. Yeah, right. You know, if you if you're on the on the on the like it Uber or on, on the road, it was my bed. And the, the, the young kids come and beg you, and you give one one k. What the yeah. whole community is coming. They're like rats. They were just <laughs> they were like rats. That's what they happened would to come me. Straight. There was one time I think <laughs> I had I had a fight with um with one of my friend's staff. Yeah. Oh, see, the guy yeah. was just a dodgy guy in it, but then he he got me a cake. The cake came like at the end of the party, and I'm like, what is this nonsense? Yeah. Nah. So, anyways, I went at the airport. And then I was like, I've got the cash. I was like, I beg, just take it. And he was just moving salty. So I just threw the money in the air. No way. All the staff came and scurry, 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 then got the money. And then they and they, they went, hmm. I was like, this country is hard. It's actually hard. This country, as soon as you get out. Me, when I come to Nigeria, I always have a 10 pound note for customs. I don't, oh, okay. I can't be bothered that searching your bag. 10, 10 pound pounds. note. I'll give it to the girl at the front or the guy, get me a trolley, quick take my bags key. for me. You go and set all the customs with this ten pounds is all I have for you, and I just <laughs> no, you know that's smart me. though, because then again, any anything just say talk I'm to that girl, just to see hire someone, yeah, he hires someone for a good twenty <laughs> minutes, he gets out that airport, and he gets to have to chip other people as well. When I go to customs, I squeeze my face. I'm mm. not in the mood. No, man, really? but they're just gonna take your time. Like, no, you know, but the time they see my face, I say, "Guy, my driver is right there. I haven't got time for your crap. Okay, I'm not opening any bag. Let's keep it moving." <laughs> and I keep, I'm telling you. I just keep a hard face because yeah. I can't stand you. Why are you opening my bag? No, you know what? That's actually smart in a way. Yeah, smart, I don't, I don't like, do it. Some of them, it depends who you meet. Some yeah, of them some of them are arrogant. So they say, ah, cool, I'm like going to open your bag old and men, search it. Yeah, old men, they, they, won't, they won't say, okay, sir, good afternoon, sir, how are you? They might just hold you and just delay you, but they, they might look at you, oh, madam, madam, go. Mm. Depends. But some of them, you know, they're like the old, older traditional ones, they're a bit more egotistic. So they want to like, you go like, oh, yes, sir, please, sir. Thank you, sir. I just can't. I just don't like the begging. It's draining. No, it's draining. <laughs> All right, question time. What questions All right, have cool, we got? Cool. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, ah, okay. So somebody asks, how much lube <laughs> should I carry around <laughs> with me in a day? <laughs> we, you got. We got to define what lube. I think we defined in the first episode. Yeah, or yeah. The pilot episode, but yeah. we'll define it again quickly. So basically, lube is the money that you need to put in your pocket when moving around. Just to make sure you don't get into any trouble. Or make sure you can smooth in your way around things. So, uh, a driver, mm -hmm. a gate man, mm -hmm. a couple of friends here and there. Maybe you get into an issue with the police. You can just all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, how like how much do you think someone needs a day? Okay, for me, it depends on your game plan. If you're hard headed like me, zero. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know we came out again with no lube yeah, today. Yeah, today. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Especially on this mainland, I cannot. I don't have time for. I, for police, I budget like five k. <laughs> if they meet me, I might give you one. Like whoever, no, whoever after, me, after what he went through, you should bro, fucking have leave all the that, time. I can't be in on the mainland and not have money for police. Hundred percent. I don't even care about the security. All of that people, the police. <laughs> I don't have time for them. Nah. No, that's mad. 5k on, on just feds alone. That's so is that 5k a day? Yeah, 5k a day has to be my pocket. That's to expensive. Give them. Just as you're able to survive without stress, isn't yeah. it? On, and on even it. that 5k sometimes is not enough for them. Mm, it depends on if, you, if you're out a lot for a while as well, for a long time. Like you mean nighttime, like... I'll try or I'll try my tactic, the freeway first. Just like, ah, oh, guy, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. I'll see you again, I'll see you again. <laughs> And then normally I'll go, but some of them like, no, 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 you said that last time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I just want to say that thing. <laughs> and how how much do you give like a policeman? 1K. I don't 1K. give more than 1K. I don't need to. So how much do you carry around then? You need <sighs> to carry around the so, advice. So, so some days I don't move too much. I move like just office home. Those days I don't carry stuff around me. If I'm going out, then I'll get my job to get 10K note, 10K, and that's it. For so the evening? 
Yeah, just for the evening. Because you never know, you might go to one club, go it's to the another parking, place. The parking people are the Parking are people, crazy. All that, yeah, all the stuff. So you just have to. Um, but lately, I haven't been doing it, you know, because it's just so much effort, like, just having to think about that. Do you know what I'm saying? No. Like, I don't know how people do. Do people, uh, every day after work, like, go into the cash machine and have things like how do you get cash so i, I like i said I, I deliberately don't carry cash i feel like if i carry how cash, do you I'm get gonna cash? spend it atm you just go to a- any time yeah, yeah, yeah. how do you guys get cash atm atm, ATM yeah or pos yeah. Oh, yeah pos as well yeah. POS. Oh, those people that POS. charge 500 naira yeah, to withdraw yeah, your money yeah, oh, they charge you 500 naira it's a scam i tell you they charge you 500 naira <laughs> atm most of the time hey, don't even work I've, my lowest i've priced it to 100 naira is That's it 100 is naira Fuck yes, I mean, <laughs> oh, it's it's it depends, it depends how much you're getting. My out. accent yeah. is, is really? making them charge yeah. me 500. Your accent is making them charge me 500. Do you use POS? I'm telling you. See, sometimes you just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> I write it down. <laughs> write it down. No, I no. Think no, but Pete made a good point though. He said that sometimes the ATM is not even working. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Hey, just, yesterday I was going through pain. Yesterday even today well, I'm still pain. To my car. I'm take, I think I needed to take out 30k. I think out of number one. If you're not using your own bank, you can only take out 10k at once. Oh, is that the rule? Yeah. What are the 10k I didn't even know about, about that. So I was always thinking about 10k. I was always thinking about 10k. Well, I didn't know it was so a rule. So 10k, 10k. I need to take another 10k. There's like seven people behind me. He says you be standing there for ages. No, no. He said no more cash, and they're all looking at me like I've taken out all the cash, <laughs> but they don't even know I haven't taken out all the cash that I need. I just walked to another bank. <laughs> Yeah, really? no, that's, that's rude. Don't work in Nigeria. But why do you think it's like that, though? You know what they need to do, yeah? If the currency keeps going down, you might have to just, like, if you can't fix that, print better notes. Yeah. Like, don't try to, like, Zimbabwe has already got to millions, of, <laughs> millions. God forbid. Before that. they get in. <laughs> like, God. just print bigger notes because, like, you can't, the minimum notes in, in the cash machine cannot be 1,000 naira. It just wow, you think it should be more than that? It now? should be more than that. Do you know how much? Like, yeah, yeah, the maximum shouldn't. Yeah, I get what you're you think saying. Should be it should be at least ten k. Two k, ten k notes. Ten k notes. Yeah, 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 it should be ten k notes. Ten k notes. That's because mm. nice. Nigeria is like it's getting expensive by the day. So one k doesn't be like if some places you get someone one k tip, they are not happy. Nah, this is getting out of hand now. Seriously. Yeah, so that's Why the minimum note. Happy, okay, do you know what? Because you now you've now come. You spent forty k. No, because all the you guys go to that area. Yeah, you say, that's when the salary in one sitting. Yeah, and they've seen all you like guys four times that in area. one week. All, but all is the that guys your are giving them at least two, three, four K. It's like one K to be doesn't And work. how are those guys making their money? I know we said, I know we, I know we, I know we, I know we said, screw it, <laughs> on the pilot. But to me, at the end of the day, I just think it's all relative, right? If you're earning, I, got, I found out the guys at the petrol station, apparently they earn 8K, which is just ridiculous. 8K what? <laughs> I'm telling you, a day. Okay. It was it was even our friend that told a me. Day. He was like, I pay salaries. They get paid eight k a month. Minimum salary is thirty k. The guys that pump your car, no wonder they're always trying to cheat people. Yeah, and so add, they need to make extra. the money back. So, to but extra. to me, makes sense. Yeah, I got found out. It was, oh no, nah, you need to tip them now if you're gonna get petrol because if they earn eight k a day, that's you can't live why a am day, I, a why month, I, bro, a month, a month, a month. Um, it's a month, a month, eight k a month. Yeah. Nah, I don't think that is. That's I couldn't but I was arguing it was it was our like, boyfriend he said he goes Shalwa I pay salaries I know what I'm talking about they get paid 8k a month I said we're right to lie this country's going nah, into seriously but like, how, does that, how, do, how does someone like survive on 8k a month that's bro? what I'm saying that's what the unless, hustling unless, the rest of us unless you live in the trench like <laughs> even the trenches <laughs> are even <laughs> 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 the trenches trenches <laughs> you can't survive on 8k a month no because you can't feed yourself on 1k a day yeah, you can't. You can't feed your, even your street I, I, no, food. No, no, how no, much you, is, you actually can. How much you is your street can. food? I've yeah, tried yeah, it. Like, I've tried it. I need to learn your tactics. Let me tell you what I did one time, right? So I was on the way back home and Charity has left the house mm-hmm. and she didn't make any food. So Charity yeah. is my uh, cook. So I literally like, I had my, my I didn't have my card on me, but mm-hmm. I, had, I had a 1K money. And I was just thinking, okay, by the time I go home, I would have to like, I had a call try to come back and I have to wait till food is made and it was just it was just like I was just thinking okay, you know I need to figure out what I can buy with this money and then go home and make something quickly mm-hmm. so I took the one k I bought 500 naira meat right from where Ah, uh, you question uh, it. <laughs> this guy is not it's not been from city and is buying 500 naira meat Jesus is lord what part of nah, the was that but, 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 but I, was, I was actually there to choose it I, I actually, I was driving guys it. 500 naira is 50p by the way <laughs> <laughs> continue go on I bought 500 naira meat and 500 naira tomatoes mm-hmm. went home chopped the tomatoes up 
chopped up. I've got, I've got um, this, this, this wait, is let me seasoning. Tell you. This seasoning is killing me every day. <laughs> I've got to season everything in the yard. So I have to chop it away and make quick stew and just fry the meat. And I'm good. And I, I had my dinner. And it's sold you. Well, you don't have it with rice? What? No, I've got rice. So I've got other no, no. So you add no? Did you add that to it, or did you just just? No, no, rice was it was white rice. Okay, two yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it was so that's a one k meal. Yeah, these guys don't have stove. They don't have all these things. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking from a privileged point of view. <laughs> 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 they, they kind of uh, you can't eat one k a day. Then what if you have children? Where do you live? If you if you if you if that eight k a month, that's why they have multiple jobs, and that's why your gay men are always sleeping. Do you want to tell them what, what happened to you the other day? Oh, you yeah. there? Do you want to tell them what happened to you the other day, fam? Oh my God, literally. I got home, me and I think we went out with my friends. No, I think that's when we I were, came me, to you. Me, me, we, all of us were at mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the day that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. As soon as I got home, I got to the gate and, and cause that day I took an Uber. And then when I come in, yeah, I don't want to beep in the car. So I took an Uber back. So he, he didn't hear, all he hears is the beep. We were listening to, sleeping, listen, went to listen to the beep sound. Yeah. I was just banging the gate, banging, literally banging the gate. I was outside for 30 minutes. I was outside for, I had to call, I was calling you just, just to talk. Like, <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was calling Shalom just to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was outside banging, banging the door. And then I had to call my neighbours. I like, while the cookie, I got over like, yeah, oh, yeah, it was I, one. I called my neighbours and it was like, yo. I was like, bro, please calm down, calm down. This gay man is falling asleep. He had to come down. Went to get him and he was showering the game as him and he still couldn't wake up. I was like, is this guy high? I, yeah, I, probably I, it was high still. A lot of Nigerians are high. I, I was like, My nah. gay man just came to confess to me the other day, goes, I don't want to tell you something, ma. I smoke. I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you have to be high in this country to I get said, back. I said, what, I said, what am I supposed to do with this information? <laughs> yeah, goes, I had to get I just want to confess to you. <laughs> I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this information? Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> and it's like, they earn 20K. A month. I found that out. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. security. The previous place I was in, I asked him. He said thirty. That's hard. Thirty is the minimum wage in Nigeria. That's exactly. 30. That's but that's terrible. How can there be minimum wage and they're earning less than that? Wait, but thirty k minimum wage in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. It should be minimum wage is in different states, not in different in the whole country. Because poverty level is different in the country. It's, no, it's, it's bad everywhere, boy. Country, like no, but seriously, the minimum wage in Lagos should not be thirty k. What, should, what, it what be? should it be? I'm not going to say where it should be. No, no, I don't think it should be. Exactly, what should it be? I don't know, but it should be I more than that. It should be like 500 now an hour. What is that a month, though? That's what you get more than. Yeah, I'm going to say How much an hour if you work seven days, seven hours? Uh, that's not bad. That's, no, that's I good. think, yeah, it should be like around. I think it should be per hour, not not like a whole salary per month. Oh, like the way that. Yeah, yeah. I get your point. I get your 50p an hour. A lot of business owners will be crying. But... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do you, is, do you, is Nigeria's earning less than 50p an hour? Yeah, yes, you're only 30k yes. a month. It's terrible. 30k so is, is like 50 pounds now. 50 pounds a month is the minimum wage. My yeah. wax costs, the wax my body costs me more than that. From head to toe. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad. No, but it's so sad because it's like the person waxing me is not getting paid for the wax. It's terrible. It's terrible. So <laughs> right now, and we're the ones that are getting taxed for it. Giving them lubricant every two hours. <laughs> <laughs> nah, more bad generous. Well, yeah, man. Thanks for listening to the first episode, guys. <laughs> yeah, we have to cut here, man. I, I literally, I, I missed my mean already. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it and see you next week. <laughs>